Flowering plants are not the only species that produce nectar. Today, we're talking about fern nectaries. Let's botanize. While we commonly associate nectar with flowers and pollinators, some species produce structures called extrafloral nectaries, which attract ants that feed on the nectar and in return protect the plant from herbivory. Despite their over 375 million years of divergent evolution, flowering plants and ferns, like this bracken fern, evolved nectar production independently. While nectary development is quite variable, in ferns, they often occur on the underside of the leaf where a leaflet meets the petiole. In a recent paper I was a part of, we showed that nectaries in both ferns and flowering plants originated around the same point 130 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. This is very late in fern evolutionary history, but quite early in flowering plant evolutionary history. Interestingly, the timing of nectary evolution in both ferns and flowering plants coincides with the origin and rise of ants that associate with plants. While flowering plants with nectaries seem to diversify alongside the ants that associate with them, the ferns with nectaries lagged behind. It wasn't until they grew in the canopy as epiphytes, climbers, or tree ferns that ferns with nectaries started to diversify rapidly. 